Hey everyone, welcome back to the official Visual Studio YouTube channel. Today we have three small but mighty visual improvements to Visual Studio. First up, we're gonna show you the new and improved attached to process dialog, which we can all agree needed some work. Second, we're gonna show you how you can improve the readability of your IDE with new text formatting options. And last, we'll show you the new hover preview feature. There's plenty to dive into. Be sure to check out the resources in the description, like, and subscribe to stay up to date with all things Visual Studio. And let's dive in. The attached to process dialog was in much need of an upgrade. We've heard you, so we've made it modern, speedier, and a little bit more user-friendly. Let's take a look at what has been updated. So this is the one you are most likely familiar with. Control Alt P, the shortcut for the attached to process dialog. We can all agree this needs to be updated. I'm gonna switch into another version of Visual Studio. Control Alt P once more, and we can instantly see a difference. A couple of things less vertical space is being used. We've cleaned up a couple of options here just uh, to take advantage more of the real estate. If you're on a smaller monitor, you're most likely going to appreciate this. So overall, a cleaner look there, a big and probably very welcomed change, dark mode, and this adapts, right? So if I switch my theme here, uh, apologies, I am going to blast you with some light right now. Might want to uh, lower your brightness. and But the new dialog will adjust the theme. So control alt P once more. And we see that dialog is also light theme now too. I'm going to cancel this and we'll switch back the themes once more. Warn Dark Pro is the best theme, by the way. Okay. Additionally, I'm going to bring this up once more. We now have two different views here. You have a list and a tree view. And in the list, that's probably the view you are used to. I go to tree, you can now expand processes in here as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, another great thing, we can now use wildcard. So if I do dot wildcard, so in the search here, we see that brings up a list of processes. Whereas in the old one, we'll go back here. And if I type in dot, we'll see we've typed that in here, but nothing comes up for us. That has now been updated as well. Overall, a bunch of welcomed changes available starting 17.10. Let us know what you think about the updated attached to process dialog in the comments below. All right, let's talk about another visual update in Visual Studio. Alrighty, let's now talk about new text formatting options. I'm gonna go to tools, options, and in, under environment, I'm going to select fonts and colors. And just so we can see an example, I'm gonna select comments. And now we do have the option of italic and underline. So I'm gonna select italic here and hit okay. And now we do indeed see that my comments are now in italic. I know this isn't a massive update, but anything that we can do to improve your UI experience and the readability of your code is a much welcomed update. One last update that we have, another small but mighty one, and a big shout out to you all, Visual Studio community, for helping us build this one. Thank you so much for your contributions. If I hover over an image, I now have image hover preview. We can see that this tool tip shows the image in its original size, but it is capped at 500 pixels with an height, right? So keep that in mind. And we'll also see the size of the image right under the preview. Something pretty handy if you work a lot with images. And once again, thank you community for contributing to this one. Awesome, short video, three small improvements, but nevertheless, they're gonna help you make your experience in Visual Studio that much better. Drop a comment, let me know which one you're going to be using right away. And don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all things Visual Studio. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.